In front of me is a Motorola E5 Play and today I will show you how to set up your device. So when you get the device you will primarily be seeing this and to if we set it up, start off by choosing your language. We're gonna assume that it's English. So let's keep it on that. And then continue, start. Here you get to choose the network, Wi-Fi. I'll choose mine that it's not locked. It's now connected. You can also skip if let's say you don't have any network in the area. Now it's gonna, once you connect, it will actually start checking for updates. And hopefully it won't start updating right now because that will take a little bit longer. Okay. Here you can choose if you want to copy the data from previous phone or Android, or just set it up as new. I'm gonna tap on set up as new. Here you can just set up your Google account. Um, so you will type in your email, then password. I'm gonna skip this just to make this video a little bit shorter. Um, now Google will basically make sure that you want to skip it. Just tap one more time to skip. Um, here you get to set up the name of the device it's not really important you can put whatever you would like Let's put next um, now here you can actually set up a passcode and fingerprint because the phone has a fingerprint reader so i'm gonna do it just to show you how let's do setup uh, you get to choose which which one you like um, pattern pin or password uh, pattern will be the the drawn lines uh, Pen would be just four digit number and password would be actually like a verbal one uh, with, I mean, with letters uh, without any like mm, restrictions to number. I'm just gonna go with the quickest one. So go with pattern, then yes. And here you get to draw your pattern, which one you like. Now you draw it again, the same one, just to confirm that it, that was the same. And here, now you get to set up your fingerprint. So. It will start off by just tapping this right now, okay? And now just tap on start and you will need to keep putting your finger multiple times, preferably from different angles, just to get your finger all the way around to be able to unlock from any basically finger position. And once you're done, you can add another one. So either it can be the same finger just for like reassurance that will read your fingerprint or it can be a different finger so you're not restricted to only one finger um, or you can just finna uh, finish it by clicking done now here at google terms of service so of course we accept them because otherwise we can't proceed um, you have some other options and uh, to add just gonna put no thanks Accept and continue. And you will do need to confirm it once more. Agree to terms of service and other things from Motorola. And as you can see, you're right now in your phone. Now with the fingerprint, you can actually now unlock the device if you set it up with your finger. So if I put it in, get to unlock it just by touching the back logo of the device. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.